Since 2015, thousands of refugees have been pouring into Greece. They fled war, persecution and oppression. The lucky ones make the six mile journey to the Greek shores. Many arrive on the island of Lesbos, hoping for a more peaceful future. Volunteers from around the world have also arrived on the island. They're ordinary people who are trying to help in whichever way they can. I'm Shakira Suzia. I'm one of the volunteers here in Greece on the island of Lesbos, where the refugees are coming in from Turkey. Hi, I'm Sabrina. I'm a part of the group Help for Humanity. Hi, my name is Aki. I'm from London. Hello, my name is Sammy. I'm a teacher from London. We've just arrived in Lesbos. I'm Sarah from London. Um, I've been here a week. Oh, my name is Sammy, Sammy Tata from London, uh, personal trainer. Hello, my name is Kaleem and I'm uh, Pakistani based in London. group of friends and we came here in Lesbos to help uh, the refugees and today we came to the port, there is a boat that is departing. We came with uh, some backpacks full of uh, items and toiletries for children uh, from uh, babies to 10 years old and we are just distributing to the parents um, boarding basically. I had the mission to accomplish one of the volunteers had the bright idea to leave their bag with the refugee. The refugee was even smarter and had the bright idea to go on the boat with the bag of the volunteer. So I was just helping look for the bag and look for the refugee basically. I had to look at, at the, uh, the main entrance from the uh, bottom deck to the upper deck of the boat where all the refugees were queuing to get in. I would say it looks like the, uh, the boat version of a refugee camp, if, uh, if it makes sense. Yeah. So basically refugees trying to, uh, trying to go somewhere to get a better life. I'm looking out for refugees. And the days are spent um, distributing essentials, clothes, food, and anything else to the camps. Um, we've also been um, trying to entertain the kids with uh, playing with them or trying to engage them in any kind of activities. Just come here volunteering, uh, helping people, mainly refugees who come from Syria. I'm using my uh, skills, which is Arabic language, just translated from Arabic to English. In, uh, inside the uh, camp. So the situation has been very tough. There's lots of people there, a lot of Syrians, families, kids, old, young, some people with some uh, mental problems, uh, some dis uh, disabilities as well. I have absolutely no idea what happened to them, what's going to happen, how long they're going to stay inside, and uh, where they're going to be in the future time. Tonight we were on night duty. There's only four of us, and we saw, or oh, two of them saw, a boat coming in. We just about got a uh, campfire going, and the boat was literally a couple of meters away from us. We shone the torch, it came closer to us. Up, me and my sister we pulled the boat in, and there was literally 60 people in a small little dinghy. standing in a boat which has um, held 60 refugees like literally 10 minutes ago. Children jumped out, um, we got on blankets and everything. One thing I can't get over is we're living in this world where people have to cross borders, season, risking their lives in flimsy life jackets which are not even real to get a better life. I just can't get over this. These are fake life jackets, very very flimsy and not Ugh. tough hard wearing material. I'm not gonna pull one open. Well here's what I did earlier. <laughs> you see? Very poor workmanship. Inside if you can see you can bend it. Actually inside what you'll find is three pieces of foam. Foam that takes on water that actually make the person in it sink. The hardest part on this trip was um, actually attending the funeral of two uh, men who passed away and dealing with their family. 
Um, a few days before I actually arrived to Lesbos, my team who were already here dealt with a boat that had just come into the shore. This boat was packed with people, actually layered on top of one another. And there was uh, water seeping in. And at the bottom of the pile were two men who'd actually passed away from their overcrowdedness and actually drowning on the boat. The little kids went around the um, graveyard picking up flowers and putting it on the dad's graves. Um, it was heart wrenching. What I hope to take away is strength and to make people aware that this hasn't uh, ended and that this is still occurring and it's still happening. And these are human beings, you know, just like me and you.